What happened to Milena and Yasmin? A Milena, ela gostava de gravar com a gente e tal, mas, tipo, ela era bem ocupada, assim como a Yasmin. A Yasmin, ela era muito ocupada, porque ela tava entrando no terceiro ano, escola militar e tudo mais. Tomava muito do tempo dela, fora que ela tinha aula disso, daquilo, tinha projetos e tal, e aí não conseguia gravar, entendeu? E a Milena também. A Milena, ela gostava de gravar com a gente, mas às vezes ela não tinha tempo, ela não participava, não participava de alguns covers. Tipo, não tava batendo mais com os schedules dela. A Yasmin foi porque realmente ela não tinha tempo. 13 question. When did all of you guys start to sing? Um, I can't remember like specifically the age, but uh, when I was a kid, we always had those TV channels that would play music videos like 24/7. <laughs> we always had them on, so I always had music in my ears. So I would try to imitate it, but I don't think I was a good like singer as a child. I uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty bad. But I've always had the passion for singing, whether I had potential or not. Um, but as for covers, like I started uploading on SoundCloud when I was in middle school. Just, you know, covers in English and also in Korean. Um, I used to record with my headphones, microphone on Audacity and just like upload it. I didn't even try. But yeah, I've always had interest in music growing up. It has an important, special place in my life. I grew up watching musical series and movies like Home Disney. <laughs> so I was inspired by them when I was a kid and then I started to practice. My family always been supporting me when I was a kid. So I started to do classes, like singing classes. And then, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's you just say it. Just say, I was born to sing. Yeah. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Say it like this. So I guess I developed interest in singing because of my father. He was always singing. <laughs> so I've been singing since I was a little kid. And I used to sing in the children's church choir when I was a kid too. <laughs> so I sing I've been singing since I can remember. I started singing when I was a little kid. <laughs> because my whole family sings so they encouraged me a lot. I don't know when I started singing, I think like two years or three years. I don't remember because my whole family sings too, like like palace family. Like my mom, my grandma and all the the women in my family sing. So they always made me sing like if you search you can find videos of me singing as a kid on YouTube, but don't search it. Um, but yeah. I sing since I can remember. As for me, just like everyone else, I've been singing since I was a child, but I've always had problems with my anxiety and I'm really shy, so I can sing in front of people. I've been working on that, but I've never felt really comfortable in front of people, so I've never really um, exposed myself that much. Moon, you brought a good point because I relate to this. Um, I've never had like confidence when it comes to my singing. I, I barely started getting some like the past few years, but I don't even think I'm still that confident. Um, I think I was the hardest member to convince to join the group, wasn't I, Lala? Getting someone ah, to join yeah. the group. It was you. I kept telling her, like, she kept asking me for a week. I was like, no, I don't have confidence. I, I don't think I'm a good singer. Even before she suggested the group, she suggested that we sing a song together. And I'm like, no, I can't sing. I don't want to do it. But thanks, Lala, for insisting. Why would we be without you, Sina? Oi? Yeah, or without anyone. Like, I don't think Lynx Cats True. would be Lynx Cats without all of us on it. Hard. Say it louder for the people on the back. 14th question. What is the position of each member within the group? We don't really like to be put in a box of like what a member can and cannot do. We don't really separate our members into fixed positions. In our covers, you can notice that we alternate the roles depending on the cover. We like to experiment with our voices and improve together. There are members that excel at certain things that others can't. Physically. For example, Callie. She can sing in the second octave. That is humanly impossible for me to do. But it does not mean that I will not give low notes to other members. Like, everyone can do low notes. It's just... That's just how we're gonna keep doing it. But... 
just because someone excels at something does not mean they should take it for themselves, you know? Giovanna can reach like whistles, tones, even Moon actually can do that. And Lala, but I can't do that. I can't sing like super whistly stuff. Doesn't mean that I'm not gonna give myself a high notes. So I don't like labels because it tends to limit us. We prefer to experiment and just keep trying our hardest to do, to impress ourselves. Basically. Callie, can you say a super low note, please? Talk it for me. Don't like it for me. No. Oh, like, I can't that's that. what... oh my god. Talk it for me. <laughs> Cara, ah, pergunta importante. Você gravaria um podcast de 8 horas para escutar antes de dormir? Queria muito saber. Grava o que você quiser. Hum. Hum. Oh. <risos> Okay, 15th question. Qual é seu cover favorito do grupo? Yeah. Uh, for me, it's a really tough question. <laughs> I always end up making our latest cover my favorite. But if I had to pick one, I would choose like a Scream. Because I work really, really, really hard to sound like that. And Sena can attest that. <laughs> I can. And also, Fonfare holds a special place in my heart since it's the first high note I got in the group. <laughs> I, I personally don't have a favorite. I can I can never pick a favorite anything, so... I like everything. Just not the <laughs> super old stuff, please. Don't <laughs> listen to that. Me too. I just want to say, like, every time we make a cover, it becomes my favorite cover until we make a new cover, basically. Yeah, it was the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah! So, I think my favorite cover is Psycho. Like, I really like the cover and the video and everything about the cover. Um, as for me, I really love G Friend's Apple cover. Um, I really love the song and I think we slayed the cover as well. So it made me really happy to sing that song. Favorite is Psycho too, because the song was so hard to record. Oh my God, I almost cried. I think you cried. <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelly. So no, sorry. no, no, no. <laughs> Kelly started sending me messages. I'm trying to put emotions. This is hard. And I'm like, no, <laughs> do it again. I need more feeling. She's like, oh, the top is so And I'm like, perfect. Okay, I like that. Now go, go take a break. Yeah, I actually, I saw a question about which cover took the longest to mix. And it was Psycho for the longest time because it took 17 hours. Like it said on my project that it took 17 hours to make. But it was topped by So What? <laughs> because that one took 18 hours. <laughs> so these two are like completely went crazy. Like I don't know what I was thinking, but they took like almost 20 hours to finish. If we count like recording and mastering everything else, that's like 20 hours each. 16th question. How do you decide who will make the video for the cover? Usually, Kali and Moon switch between them, this responsibility. But sometimes I beg them to let me make a video for a song <laughs> when I really, 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 really like it. Or when I have like a different or nice idea for it. <laughs> um, but since I take a little bit longer to get my videos done, I do it once in a blue moon. It's really rare <laughs> but i like it when it comes to videos like mew said kali and i are responsible for it kali usually does the videos she likes the most correct me if i'm wrong kali but i think that's what happens and that's, you're right <laughs> and we usually discuss about the aesthetic of the video i really enjoyed talking to kali about that because she has so many ideas and her aesthetic is so good like honestly i am jealous and yeah that's it Hello, it's present Mio here. I'm sorry for interrupting, but I want to make just a little update on our video editing process. Lately, we've been able to count on Danny, an amazing friend and editor, with the editing of our videos. He's really perfectionist and extremely talented. We are very grateful for encountering him and being able to count on him along our way. Danny, thank you very much for your hard work. <laughs> That's it. Let's get back to the video. I'm sorry again. What was the first K-pop song you've ever heard? First group you got into? Okay, so it was like, I think it was summer of 2009. And I was on our old desktop computer with my sister. And I came across 
G, by Girls' Generation, the music video. And I remember I kept watching it over and over trying to understand what, what the lore was. <laughs> I was so confused. But back then I didn't even know like that they were singing in Korean. I just was like, wow, this is such a nice song. And I looked up the lyrics and I started singing it. But I don't think I paid much attention to K-pop after that until 2011 when I saw I use you and I music video and then I got sucked into the K-pop hole. So I think the first like artist that I got into was IU. Um, but group I think like really 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 got into Mamamoo probably when they when they first came out with their um, debut song. I was like, oh my god, I love these girls, they have such a beautiful voice. And then after that, it was, you know, Red Velvet, etc. Okay, so my first K-pop song was Lollipop by Biggie Bang and 21. And I was in my brother's computer and then I saw that video. Uh, on the first look, I thought it was Japanese when I was a kid. <laughs> Actually, I didn't like it at all, but I started to get interested in K-pop in 2015 with BTS. Yeah, I actually have fallen in love when I saw Run by them and then I started to get interested in K-pop at all. I guess it was G by Girls Generation as well. Uh, some internet friend sent me the video and I was like, hmm, it sounds good. Then I forgot about it. <laughs> but after a few months, I guess, or a few days, or weeks, I don't know. A friend came with her iPod and showed me the video again and I was like, oh, I think I saw that before. <laughs> and then I started to like K-pop from there. First K-pop song I've ever heard was Cause I'm Your Girl by Kiss. It's a very old group. The music video is viral in my city. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but I only learned what was K-pop in 2013. Girl Generation won an award for music video with Got a Boy, I guess. The funniest thing is that I went to the MV to dislike it and ended what up falling in love with him. <laughs> God, who would have known? Who you? <laughs> it's like, and I was the biggest fan of Girl Generation. <laughs> Who were like, you trying to Oh my God. Like Oh my god, why Demi Lovato don't win this? Oh, yeah, okay. You don't deserve this. <laughs> the girl that's just like it. <laughs> that's the one I said. First, now that Kali made me think, I think it was this song too. Yoja Inika from Kiss? Because it went viral too here. Like, they made a Portuguese version of it. But... I think it was Gangnam, Gangnam Style and um, I use it to not like K-pop. My friend was 4-Minute fan. Ele vivia mandando vídeos do 4 Minute e eu ficava, não, sai daqui. Ele mandou uma vez só o áudio no WhatsApp de What's You Doing Today do 4 Minute. E eu achei que era em inglês, aí eu falei, nossa, que música boa. Aí eu fui pesquisar sobre 4 Minute e aqui estou eu. I was really into One Direction. 2013, I guess, and I saw this group in my YouTube recommendations, and it was shiny, and they were singing in Japanese, so I didn't really know they were K-pop. First song I heard of them was Breaking News, and after I realized they were K-pop, I really got into this world. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute! 18th quest. Quais seus interesses além de K-pop? Okay, I just realized that most of my interests are related to music <laughs> because I really like singing and playing the guitar. But but I'll try naming other stuff. I love to watch like a wide range of TV shows and movies, and um, from cheesy romantic dramas like Korean dramas or something like that. <laughs> to horror stuff or thriller and other than that I enjoy learning new languages so I can communicate better with people and enjoy stuff that don't get translated so I don't need to rely on translators. I also like to draw but I'm not very good on that and I like to edit videos as well. Even you are not? I'm not good drawing. <laughs> I just what? I really like to edit videos, videos as well. 
but it can be a pain when I'm not feeling creative enough. Other than that, I enjoy playing video games very much, very much. And I've been into Genshin Impact these days, but I also play Valorant. And when I had a video game back then, I used to play a lot of zombie-related games and story-based games. And I used to really like reading too, but sadly, I'm not doing that often anymore. I I like to sing and I like to draw. I don't really post my drawings on social media and stuff. I like to draw and I think I draw good. Um, I like to learn new langu languages. I'm always, always trying to learn a new language. Now I'm learning Russian. Привет, guys. I like to play. I'm not playing at all now because my computer doesn't let me. But I used to play League of Legends. So I really like dubbing and actually... I do it since I was a kid too, just like singing. Can you promote like something that you've dubbed before? So it's on Netflix. I dubbed Mia and Me. It's a uh, animation. I think it was the third season. If anyone wants to watch it, <laughs> it's on my Instagram too. I love watching series. I love reading. I love sleeping. I love to eat. <laughs> I really, really love. I'm really passionate about writing, um, not just lyrics. I really enjoy writing stories and tales, and I really love reading as well. Um, but currently, the thing I'm doing the most is watching TV shows, um, The Nanny, for example, and The Walking Dead. And besides that, I enjoy drawing as well, and I really love riding the bicycle. <laughs> That's it. I really like watch anime too. Yeah, anime is I great. About that. Spot the otaku. Giovanna the weeb. Yeah. You guys have the any set role? Yeah, Giovanna is the weeb of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's hobby is fighting her demon on who can reach the lowest note. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 3 a.m. She's like. Oh my family's like, no, not again, Kelly. I'm trying to sleep. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> okay, actually, reading really, reading this question made me realize that I completely forgot about one of my most favorite hobbies, which is dancing. But I think the only explanation of, of why I stopped or slowed down. Is because I'm I've been focusing a lot on music for the past two years, so I'm constantly like either recording or mixing or you know something related to music. So I don't have enough energy left to learn a dance, etc. But I used to dance like in my sleep. I used to do it all the time. Like I'm walking and I'm dancing. I also like songwriting, like Moon. I actually love songwriting, especially with Mohun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm pretty similar to Lala and Mio in terms of um, we like to learn languages and, you know, play video games and draw. Playing the guitar since I was in sixth grade, although not consistently, like I'm not a professional, but it's my favorite instrument to play. This year I've discovered that I really enjoy baking. It's so therapeutic. Yeah, and it's fun to see what you made at the end and taste it and it tastes delicious and looks delicious. You made me realize that I completely forgot about dancing. I forgot yeah, to I'm mention right. bacon too. Okay, so that's all the questions for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you learned some more things about us and you got to know us better. We might be making uh, videos like this in the future, so... Look forward. Não se esquece de se inscrever, deixar o like, compartilhar o vídeo com os amigos e esperar os próximos covers. Yeah, also don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Okay, Goodbye. three, two, one. Bye. 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 Bye.